Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are doing another Tinder video today. Basically, I deleted the app last time because I kind of felt weird having it on my phone. But I thought this time I would let it go on for a longer period of time. So it's more entertaining for the both of us because last time it was quite boring like i was just getting the feelers out there seeing what the app was like and everything um and now i'm back and i'm re-downloading it just re-downloaded gonna open the app and we'll start screen recording here we have gregory 26 what's my profile like okay let's mess around with the profile a bit more so I'm going to add another photo. Okay, now we can get back. So, first we have Gregory. Oh, I have to remember, is it left or right? Nope, okay. Nope. No. No. This is gonna be another round of no, and it's gonna be probably like identical to the last one, but let's hope we can find some more nice looking people. So far, no one is looking good. Oh, which one are you? Okay, yes. Is that yes? Yes. Okay, no. <gasps> Keep swiping. Uh, no, people just look like too try-hardy, you know. Oh my god, this! I forgot how addicting this is. I swiped yes on like two people. I am like insanely picky. And I know that's like not good for like a person like me because who can I get? But like, I have some standards, you know what I mean? I learned last time as well that they actually have more photos. Like you can go through their photos um, <laughs> because I was kind of judging them off like the first photo and if they didn't have like, if they had more than one person in the photo, I was like, oh my God, which one are you? But then I realized that they have photos by themselves as well. I haven't seen anyone I know so far. Which is like a good thing, but I did have a bit of a giggle last time. You're pretty. Maybe I'll swipe a bit more and then we'll come back when I'm going to message people. Yeah? I reckon. Because at the moment, it's just swiping. No, on like everyone, so it's pretty not interesting. So I'll be back soon. And once I've swiped yes, I'll come back and tell you. Um, because I might end up just resorting to swiping yes on like heaps of people and not really caring about what they look like or anything. So yeah, we shall see. Okay, so I have run out of likes finally. Like once you just start swiping yes, it takes a while because you're not being picky. So a lot of other people have matched with you. Like if that makes sense. Anyway. Not important. I'm going to go have some lunch um, and then we'll come back and see how the messages are going. If I have any messages, it's going to be, like I said before, so embarrassing if I don't get any messages. I hope someone's tried to chat me up so we have some interesting content. So, yes, um, we shall see. Wish me luck. I'm going to go eat. Okay, so I'm going to record my screen. It's been about half an hour or so um since i like matched with everyone and ran out of likes just had lunch sorry for my lipstick a bit everywhere etc so we're going to see if i got any messages blah 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 blah, blah. i really hope i did so <laughs> i have two messages and 35 oh my god people always ask me about what's in my bio Hit me up with your top five docos, please, and thanks. What do you look like? I mean, not bad. Okay, let's search for some. <sighs> so his bio says, on tour for seven days, planning to move here, looking for gigs and will buy you endless drinks and food. Collector of vinyl, lover of dark jokes, sober between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. Sounds alright. Two years younger than me though, so I feel a bit um cougarish. I really loved the John Bonnet Ramsey documentary thing. Well, actually, I liked Colum Bowling for Columbine. 
think that's what it's called. Bowling for Columbine. Hello. Since when is Tinder allowed to freeze? Like, are you joking? Bowling for Columbine. What else? I watched a few in my time, if I'm honest. Casting John Bene. Is that how you spell it? Carla is supposed to be good. It's about the Ken and Barbie killers. Um, actually, oops. Oh my god, this always happens every single time I kick the tripod. Um, Bella Fiore's new Mystery Monday was about the Ken and Barbie killers. So interesting. Devs recommend. Um, and that's all I can think of right now. Okay, Dave. Um, okay, you're 30. He's a photographer, Spanish speaker, coffee and beer. If you're artistic, like to travel and hip hop, we will vibe. Sorry, I don't think we will, but say something in Spanish. <laughs> okay. And that's it. Oh my god. Oh my god, wait. <gasps> this updated to like... So... <laughs> When I was on Tinder last time, this is updated and like other, like they've sent me messages since then. Oh my God, I feel so bad. Oh, Nick's already replied. Sorry, I have so many other people to reply to right now. Okay, important questions first. Do you have a favorite serial killer? Who is it and why? Okay, look, David, I don't. And that's kind of scary. You catch more flies with honey than vinegar, but the karate kid could get them with chopsticks. So I don't know how to treat other people. Can you ever really own a dog? Okay, we will talk to you later, David. I don't know how to answer yours yet. Sam, hey, do you want to come over? Not really. I'm pretty honest. Ibby, haha, <laughs> nice. My mum doesn't. Lol. Yes, she does. It says it in that gif. He didn't get the Gibby joke. You're not a fan of iCarly, you're not a fan of me. I'm going to start watching my caffeine intake because baby you make my heart palpitate. Nice. Love that. Ever look at the window during winter and think fuck shorts were a wrong decision? Mm, ever look at your um, English and think you should have stayed in school a bit longer? Yeah. Ha, good one. Dave. Oh yeah, this is the one I told to speak Spanish. Hola, como estas? Que tal tu día? Hablas español también? I don't know what any of that means. Hi, how are you? How was your day? Hablas español? Okay, I need to... Something about speaking English, I think, but I don't know. So that one's, hey, how was your day? Do you speak español too? Oh, speaking Spanish. Hi. Should I just say yes? No, I'm not going to or else I'm gonna dig myself a hole. Okay. My day is going okay. What about you? And no, unfortunately, I don't. The closest. The closest I come to speaking. Anish is saying churros because I freaking love churros. Hello everyone, it is the next day. It is around 3 p.m. and I thought I would do, like have some conversations with some of the people that I have matched with on Tinder, like that I matched with yesterday um, and just let the conversations kind of go on for the night and see how it all goes because my whole like premise behind this whole thing was to see what type of people are on Tinder because I feel like Tinder is kind of like known for like desperate people, for people that can't get anyone in the real world, um, things like that, like really judgmental things. 
whereas it's kind of like an easier way just to find people that like the same things as you to not have to go through all that thing of like meeting them first and then like I don't know I feel like it's just it's excuse me I'm trying to film thank you I feel like it's just good to have this as an option if you are looking for just something casual for a friend um, for someone to just talk to things like that you know what I mean anyway so my experience has been quite nice I have not received any like sent nudes messages which is like good because they make me so uncomfortable like who just straight out just says send nudes okay you don't want to get to know me you don't want to ask how I am how my day is blah 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 the ones that make me laugh though are ones that are like hi how are you send nudes I'm like all in the same message and I'm like okay do you want me to send nudes first and tell you that I'm good or then like which way do you want to do this you know what I mean I'm going to just record my screen and show you guys some of the nice conversations that I've had, some of the funny conversations that I've had, um, or just like nice things that people have said. Like people are really nice and um, I feel like boys on Tinder are perceived to be like really upfront, direct, like really straightforward with all that um, sexual kind of stuff. Whereas a lot of the people that I have spoken to have been actually really nice. So that was one thing that I learned from this. I feel like it has been a bit of an eye opener for me because Tinder was always like a weird thing to me. I was like, why would anyone go on an app to find someone? But it's actually quite nice. So yes, let's get on with the messages. Let's start recording my screen. Okay, so Tinder. Okay, so let's go straight to the bottom, shall we? Was there any funny ones? Okay, so this guy goes, Hey Bianca, should we go out for dinner or a meal? I think we can meet over a meal and maybe be friends. So his bio is class never goes out of style. He's 20. Um, yeah. I'm gonna not reply. <laughs> my bio, let's just clarify that. So my bio says... Um, what does it say? It'd be good if I knew what my own bio said. It says, I like to eat and watch documentaries. Yes, my eyes are closed in a majority of my photos, but I actually have beautiful eyes. Because <laughs> in a lot of them, yeah, my eyes are closed. Um, so this guy goes... He goes, eyes closed seem to be something that frequently happens to me when I'm at that point of just tipping the point, tipping point of a good night to a F my life night, which I thought was quite funny. Didn't reply. <laughs> this guy was a bit intense for me. He was kind of like odd. So he goes, I love pizzazz. Oops, I meant pizza. I love pizza, which was funny. I go, haha, pizzazz. Same pizza is great. He goes, I'm going out on a limb here and going to make an assumption. You love food documentaries just as much as me. And I said, I prefer them separately most of the time, but some food docs are good. He goes, does that mean I can invite you down to my sewer for some pizza? You can meet my rat friend. And I was kind of like, okay, I don't really like your humor. Like I'm sure someone else will laugh at that, but I go, haha, yuck. Because why would you say sewer when you're talking about food? <laughs> you know what I mean? That might be weird. I just didn't, I didn't appreciate that. I seem like I'm offended. I'm not. I just didn't, I didn't like it, you know? Not a good conversation for me. I'm probably coming across as like the worst person ever. Okay, so I go, ha ha yuck. And he goes, so just hypothetically, if someone was to take you out for your first dinner date, what cuisine y'all eating? And I said, um, probably Vietnamese. And he goes, so how are the chances I take you to whichever Vietnamese restaurant you want? And I go, no thanks. And he goes, effing rip. Oh, okay, I get that. Like effing R.I.P. Like rest in peace. I'll try again next time. Okay, listen here, buddy. And I never replied. <laughs> this guy goes model, and I said, oh, and so in his bio thing it says his anthem is Freaky Friday by Chris Brown and Lil Dicky. And um, yeah. So I said Freaky Friday might also be my anthem too. And he goes, oh, marry me. And I said, haha, not yet. He goes, fine. And I just did a laughing face and he goes, I'll let you off. I said, oh, why well, thank you. He said, anything B. I never replied to that either. <laughs> I was so bad with replying. I don't get like notifications for Tinder. Like I just turn them off. 
Um, so when I go in, I kind of just pick whatever, like whoever to reply to. And yeah, don't take it personally. If you, if any of you guys are watching this, don't take it personally, all right? Cool. Okay. <laughs> this guy just comes straight out and says it. He says, hey, do you want to come over? I said, not really. He was like, haha, you might get a surprise tonight, question mark. And I said, ma. And then I actually meant nah. So I said nah. <laughs> and he goes, you seem pretty adorable. Maybe ma kind. And I just didn't reply. It was kind of cringy. There was this act, like an actual successful, like nice going guy i think like his conversation is nice like it keeps going he's not boring he talks about things like and he actually seems interested in what i'm talking about which is nice i mean that's what you want when you're talking to people um and i'm actually texting him which is i did not expect to feel comfortable enough with someone on tinder to get to give them my number like and i don't know why because another guy asked me for my number and i was like oh nah he's like D would you rather text and i was like no and I didn't feel comfortable giving it to him, but with this guy I did, I don't know why. Anyway, sometimes your mind is a bit weird. Anyway, we had a pretty good conversation, now we're texting. Um, and yeah, it's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know what I mean? This guy goes, any recommendations for a good serial killer documentary? And I said, Carla. He goes, nothing works for appetite like a murder, murder mystery, am I right? And I said, you're not wrong. He goes, we are already agreeing with each other. How about that? Maybe we can both agree to dinner as well. And I never replied. <sighs> this guy just made me roll my eyes. He goes, hey, what's good? I said, churros. <laughs> mm, I love churros. Um, and he goes, with chocolate sauce. And I said, yeah, definitely. He says, I hope wouldn't mind with a hint of caramel. Don't know what the first part of that sentence means, but with a hint of caramel makes sense. Because, yeah. Um, I said, haha, fair enough. He goes, nice pics by the way, you look pretty chilled, what do you do? I said, thanks, I'm a student and work part time. He goes, nice, what do you study? Digital marketing. He said, great brains, damn, you're like a BBB, stock, beauty, brains, and, and I said, and? And he said, not sure at the moment, peach emoji, the, the you can see, I'm showing you the conversation, that emoji, and then a wink face, and I never applied because it kind of freaked me out a little. I don't like have any interesting ones like no one was like really out there and like messaged me something funny or oh, actually this guy was a bit like I felt so awkward even just like rejecting him in a way like I just felt like really awkward so he goes your lifestyle is on point and I said I know right he said should I model mine on yours I go haha sure if you please he said I'm very tempted think I'll need a trial run first and I said haha don't really have one available he goes ah damn all booked are we I said looks like it he said miss me chance and I said unfortunately for you <laughs> any spots opening up soon maybe is that a yes maybe or a no maybe it's a maybe maybe okay well I'm first in queue for next time and I said I shall keep that in mind and then he said as will I Awesome. Um, a lot of boys, like, their first message to me was, I can't believe I matched with you. And I was like, <laughs> me? I was like, wow. Okay, thank you. This guy, he said, I actually have a documentary addiction. I said, that's scary. Have you gone to get help for that? He goes, nah, but I probably should. Want to help me? And I was like, what the heck, how? <laughs> I'm like, nah. And he goes, damn, you rate yourself a bit, eh? And I was like, haha, how did me saying no mean that I rate myself? He said, haha, don't worry, it's all G, I'll just take the L. And I said, the what? And he said, the L. Look, I, I can read. I said, the what? Like, I obviously didn't understand what the L meant, and he just repeated himself. So I just didn't reply, because if you're not going to explain it to me... <laughs> Like, I still don't get it. Is the L, like, the loss or something? That's what, like, I kind of, like, thought it was after reading it, like, again. But he just didn't bother to explain it to me and just repeated himself. So I was like, look, if we're not going to grow together, we can't be together. <laughs> That's, like, kind of it. That Gibby guy, the Ibby guy, didn't get my gift. So he's obviously not the one for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and would like some more updates on whoever I've 
chatted too lately let me know um letting you into my little private life i mean i'm not this isn't like really serious or anything so it's like not that big of a deal um but if you guys have liked this type of video so far please give me a thumbs up and comment down below your thoughts if you want me to just completely stop please tell me um but yeah that's all for now love you lots see you later goodbye